Um, just a little talk through the D part. Um, for me, this is the, the heart of the tune. It, it's the sort of the highlight bit. So this is the bit you want to get all your focus onto getting that high A really driving hard. And this is this is this bit of the tune actually makes me want to learn and play this tune. Um, that's what motivated me to have a crack at this. Um, well, quite a few years back now, but um, anyway, let's let's give it a go. Um, so you can do it with the skip beat. That, that sort of, by actually taking one of those A's out, you actually enhance it. Now the next bit after this, um, what you do here is go for the second fret. You can either go um, through the third fret through the flat and seventh fret. So hammer onto there and then sort of pull off there. Or you can do just a sort of ordinary major scale. It's a little bit more sour if you put that in. I quite like that. It doesn't really matter because it's it's so fast anyway. But it, it just gives you a little bit of a sort of uh, a lemony kind of edge on there if you put that in slightly mo more modal. And that'll take a little bit of practice. You're kind of doing two hammer ons. Um, it's, well, it's not two hammer ons, it's a hammer on, then a sort of pull off thing there. Um, but it happens so quickly, it's just a matter of doing it slowly and faster and faster and faster until it flows. And then back on with the hammer ons. Drop thumbs there. Okay, different way of playing it. So, you've got three A's in a row. One, two, three. The second one's a hammer on. Da, 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 da. Um, that's another way of playing it, which is quite sort of strident and exciting. Okay, so now we're going to put this all together and play it against um, a recording. 